Today I'm going to walk you through how to create and sell your own digital planners. I know you've seen tons of people selling them or doing pop-up stores or their own websites, so I'm gonna show you today how to create and sell your own. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous Designs and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something that you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. Today we're going to talk about two separate things. First, we're going to just talk about how do you create digital planners? And second, we're going to talk about how do you sell them? Because I know a lot of you have been seeing other people do that and you love planners and you just think I could make that better or there's a different design that I would really like. Well, you can do that. And if you're like me, when I first started, I just thought, how is everyone making these? And I watched some tutorials on using Microsoft Word because that's what I knew best because I was in corporate America. And then I watched some tutorials on using Microsoft Excel because I thought, well, maybe that will be easier because I couldn't get the formatting to work in Word and the dimensions were off. So let's talk first about the best tool for creating planners. And that is for sure, hands down, InDesign. Now, Adobe InDesign does have a high, pretty steep learning curve. So you don't have to use that, even though that is what I would recommend. I know a lot of people love Canva and Canva, I noticed it has come out with planner templates in there already that you can use. Now, I don't know if you can edit those. I actually don't use Canva um, ever, but you that is one option. I'm not sure if PicMonkey offers a separate option. Um, another option, like I said, was the Microsoft Word and the Excel uh, tutorials that are out there. But you know, when you think about how you're going to deliver your planner to your end customer, you need to think about, am I going to make it editable so that they can make changes on their own? So do you want to give them a Word document maybe and let them kind of change the text on their own? Or do you want to make it a PDF, which is pretty much the standard, and in that PDF you have two options. Do I want it to be a static PDF where they just kind of look at it, they can't make any changes, or do I want it to be an interactive PDF where there are text boxes, there's check boxes, radio buttons, and they can input information kind of on a limited basis, but at least they can interact a little bit with the planner. So that's a really important factor to consider when you are deciding which tool to use to create your planner. The second part of that is how do you sell it? So now you have your beautiful planner and you want to get it into people's hands. So let's just talk about the technical part. So first of all, you have a few options and I'm going to show you. Uh, there are, you could just sell it, from your own WordPress site. And let me take a step back. You could sell it on Wix and it has a, I don't wanna say shopping cart, but it has a um, e-commerce functionality already built into it as does Squarespace. So those don't use plugins and you could just use that those uh, platforms. The other thing is if you're like me and you love WordPress, you could use a plugin like Easy Digital Downloads. And here's the pricing here. Now the thing to keep in mind with Easy Digital Downloads is Anything you want to add extra, like processing multiple payments, taking payment plans, offering coupons, it looks like it's cheap, uh, easy digital downloads, but they're going to charge you for each of those little features. So beware before you buy it uh, that the, um, this the standard version doesn't come with a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, DPD is a, another, you know, the same thing, uh, just a competitor to easy digital downloads. Um, you could also use something like Send Owl, same thing, or you could use Gumroad. Now, Gumroad, I will say, is probably the easiest to use in terms of learning the functionality. You just put your product on Gumroad, and then it gives you a small widget that you can just put onto your WordPress site. Uh, so that's another option as well. Um, now, if you don't want to sell it on your own platform, you could sell it on a marketplace like Etsy, obviously is probably everyone's go-to when you think about where to sell it. And that's where I used to sell mine. You can sell physical and digital, um, but obviously today we're just talking about digital. Uh, the other thing you can do is sell it on Society6, that's another platform, or Zazzle. Uh, there's a lot of these different platforms 
many more than I am probably even aware of, but those are probably the top three most popular. Um, another thing that you could do is you could use a platform like Shopify, and that's really a shopping cart. So with Shopify, uh, Big Commerce, Volusion, Big Cartel, all of those major players act kind of like, I'm going to say they act just like Squarespace, right? They have the e-commerce already built in there. They have a shopping cart. They will help do process payments for you, but you do have to pay a monthly subscription for them. And then they'll integrate with different products and email providers um, and so forth. So, you know, Shopify is not cheap. And the other thing is Shopify is not very, I don't think user friendly in terms of branding. So your Shopify store is going to look like a Shopify store, I think, unless you hire a professional designer. It was not very intuitive to figure out. And I feel like I'm a pretty fairly technical. Um, Big Commerce was much easier to figure out. It has prettier uh, themes and layouts, but Big Commerce did not have as many integrations. And but a big huge plus of Big Commerce is you can actually sell your products directly onto Pinterest. So that's originally why I looked at them. Uh, people don't have to leave Pinterest; they can just purchase it right there on that platform. Another one, though, if I was doing this all over again, I would have used Easy Store. So Easy Store is a competitor. It wasn't listed as one of the top five, but Easy Store is excellent. Like they have a really great suite of features that are way cheaper than Shopify or Big Commerce. They're based out of the Philippines, so I think that's why people are a little hesitant to, to use them, but I've only heard good, good things about them. So that is a, another option for you to look into. All right. I hope that was helpful. So let's just recap. First, we talked about how to create your planners, and I suggested that you first think about what format you're going to deliver it to them in and create it either in that format uh, so that they can edit it if you're going to offer editable planners or if you're going to offer it in a PDF, just choose a tool that you like and is going to provide the functionality and features that you need. I obviously recommend in design. And second, we then talked about how to sell it. And I gave you three different options. One was to simply host it on your own website. And you could use a plugin like EDD, Easy Digital Downloads, DPD, or Gumroad. Uh, the second option is to use a third party platform like Shopify or Squarespace or Wix. And they already have e commerce and shopping carts built in there. And the third option that we discussed um, was to sell it on an aggregate marketplace like Etsy, Zazzle, or Society6. So that's all you need to do to kind of get up and going to start creating and selling those beautiful digital planners of your own. Now, if you'd like more information on how to sell planners, I have a free course called Planner 101, and that's going to walk you through all the different business models, and it's going to talk about all of your options for both digital and physical planners. The second course to that is Planner 201, 301, 401, which is premium planner design and production. And there we actually use Adobe InDesign. You get an exclusive list of planner templates just for you from that course. It has nothing to do with the planners I sell in my store. Um, and you also get a ton of lists of vendors that I have personally used and approved and, and recommend. So let me know if you have any comments though about selling planners or where to get started. Just put it in the comments uh, below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.